Hey guys, welcome back to Ivy Crypto. Hope you are all having a fantastic day. Today I'm doing another video in the Cardano Basics series where I talk you through everything that is new uh, for somebody that is new in the Cardano space. That includes setting up your wallet, how to stake and everything in between. So today I'm going to show you step by step on how to set up a brand new wallet using the Eternal wallet on Cardano. Now, if you haven't heard of Eternal, it used to be called CC Vault. And in my opinion, it is one of the most user-friendly wallets that you can use on Cardano. So before we get into it, this is not financial advice and I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a girl taking you along on the crypto journey. Now guys, to access this wallet, you need to go to eternal, spelt E-T-E-R-N-L dot I-O. Now you can also reach this website via ccvault.io, although it will be migrating to eternal.io in the future. So I recommend using eternal.io. Now, let's get into it. Now, what you'll see is this page, okay? Now, I'm going to also show you how to connect the DApp connector, uh, but that's something that we'll get into later in the video, and that will allow you to use smart contracts and directly connect your wallet to websites to stake your tokens, to sell your NFTs, to buy NFTs. So it's a great feature. So what you wanna do is click the Add Wallet. Now, we wanna create a new wallet. So you create a wallet. Now, at this point here, it's gonna ask you to name your wallet and to pop in a uh, a password in. Now the wallet name will only ever be seen by you. Okay, so for the sake of the video, I'm going to call it example one. Now they're going to want you to enter a really, really strong password. Now it doesn't have to be anything crazy, but you definitely want it to be something that you uh, will remember, something that you maybe use or a combination of a password that you normally use, but make sure that you remember it. Now it does tell you if your password is considered weak, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to continue. Now you go save, okay? Now it gives you a couple of options here or something to consider. Something to consider is how many accounts you actually want to have as part of this wallet. Now there is a video on my channel that discusses staking to multiple pools at the same time using the Eternal wallet. Now for the purpose of this video and to avoid confusion, we are only going to create one account at any point later on you can actually create more accounts and i have a video on that which you guys can watch in the cardano basics playlist okay so we want one we're going to click save okay now this one here on the following page you'll be given a list of 24 words to write down on paper and keep in a safe place this list of words is the wallet recovery phrase for the wallet you are creating it can be entered in any other wallet app in order to access your wallet's funds and private keys now guys I cannot stress this enough. Do not share your seed phrase with anyone ever. Not your mum, not your cousin, not your friends, and certainly not anyone online. Anybody who asks you for your seed phrase is trying to scam you. So please, for the love of God, do not give it to anybody. That is how anybody from anywhere on the planet can get into your wallet from any Cardano wallet. So what is coming up on the next screen? Of course, I am not going to show you, but what will come up is 24 words, which I will write on a piece of paper and that I will use to then confirm the wallet. So I'm going to click continue, not showing you the 24 words, of course, and then I'll bring you back. Now on the previous screen that I was on guys, it showed me the 24 words. It asked me to write them down because on the next screen, you have to put them in again, okay? And it gets you to tick a box, yes, I have written them down carefully. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my 24 words and then click continue. And that this is the last step in actually creating this brand new wallet. Okay guys, so what you will see here is that I entered my 24 word seed phrase and now it has created a wallet. It's really, really important to also remember guys that if you lose your seed phrase, you will not be able to get back into your wallet. If something goes wrong, if your computer shuts down, if you uh, lose your computer, whatever, and you need to get in back into your wallet on another computer or another device, you must have your seed phrase. So I cannot stress the importance of writing down your seed phrase and do not give it to anybody, just put it in a safe place where only you can find it. Now what you will see here guys is my wallet. So my wallet is here. You can create as many wallets or as few wallets as you wish. You can see the summary here. I've got no ADA, I've got no ADA locked. I've got pretty well nothing, okay? If I was delegated, it would show here on this screen. 
transactions would also show here this is where you go to send money uh, this is where you copy your address if you'd like to receive money this is the staking center which i will show you guys uh, in a later video and this is your settings so the best way to familiarize yourself with this wallet guys is to have a play with it you can have a token list if you've obviously got multiple nfts or multiple uh, cardano uh, cryptos whatever it may be that'll all come up here uh, so that is how you create a brand new wallet on Cardano, okay? Now, something very important as part of having this wallet so you can connect to smart contracts just like you would with MetaMask on Ethereum is you want to have the DApp connector, okay? So this can be found if you go here to the eternal screen, you click on the DApp connector, it takes you through to the Chrome web store. Okay, now all you have to do is add to brave so brave does not review extensions for security and safety yep you can just add the extension go on ahead um, it's going to check it's going to download so i'll come back to you guys shortly all right guys so you can see that it has been installed and now how you can see it you go here and you've got it right there so i'm going to pin it on to my browser and there it is the eternal slash cc uh, because people still call it cc vault um, D app connector you can see over 60,000 users have downloaded this which is fantastic I mean like I said I think that the eternal wallet is a great wallet it's very easy to use and very user friendly so one thing that I will say so let's just click on the eternal uh, D app connector okay now something that is really worth noting is as you can see here the wallet that we created is not showing up okay now you might find that very odd but if I go to eternal.io, the wallet will show up. Now, the reason for this is that if you create your wallet on the eternal.io, it will not automatically show up when you click the DApp connector. So what you would then have to do, if you want to connect the wallet that you have created and use this particular wallet to buy things, sell things, whatever, whatever, through smart contracts, you will need to restore it through the DApp connector. Alternatively, you can create a new wallet straight from the DApp connector, but you cannot create a new wallet on eternal.io and expect it to automatically show up when you click your DApp connector. So what you can do simply, okay, so let's just say you've got this wallet, you get the DApp connector later, you go onto it, there's no wallet. All you need to do to connect that existing wallet is you go to restore a wallet, pop 24 words next, and you put in the 24 word seed phrase that we were just given when we created a wallet. And now when you go to places like jpeg.store, which is the largest at the moment, one of the largest NFT marketplaces on Cardano, you can click connect wallet, you click eternal, and there's a pop-up that comes up, which you guys are not seeing, uh, which gives you permission to connect to the website, okay? So let me do that now. I'm just having some technical difficulty, guys, because I've actually not set the collateral on my wallet, which is a whole other separate video, but essentially, in theory, you would go to Eternal, uh, you would accept to connect to the website, and your wallet would show up, and you would be able to very simply buy NFT collections or sell or whatever you want to do. Okay, so there's a whole other video coming on how to set your collateral, how to connect to the app connector and everything in between. If you enjoyed today's video, guys, I would appreciate the big thumbs up on the video. If you're not subscribed already to the channel, please click that subscribe button. We're on a mission to get 10,000 subscribers this year and I would love your help. As always, guys, watch this space.